We had several days notification that the storm was possibly heading our way. So a hurricane response management committee was formed to prepare for the storm. So my uh, department's pre-planning um, goal was ensuring that the plan had enough people on site at the start of the storm to run for several days. We uh, really worried that the roads might be closed or impassable uh, during and after the storm. Similarly, we staffed the HVAC control room so that we could monitor the buildings and shed load if necessary. And our electrical engineer was on site throughout the first few days of the storm. Now, our system consists of two microgrids that can be interconnected, but they can only be interconnected if uh, we disconnect the utility feed at one end. Uh, each microgrid is powered by redundant 26 kV utility feeds. Peak load on the east grid is about 6 megawatts and 22 megawatts on the west grid. We have a 15 megawatt uh, gas turbine and cogen configuration tied to the west grid. Uh, this engine runs in parallel with the utility. So the storm struck on Monday, October 29th, during the day, and it got continually worse throughout the day. Uh, Rob showed a whole bunch of pictures of New York City and all the flooding. Sandy was not a flooding event for Princeton. We're, we're located closer to Pennsylvania than we are to the coast. Uh, our problem was those 70 mile an hour winds taking down trees, uh, which blocked the roads and uh, took down the power lines. So we lost the first power uh, line about 4, 4 p.m. Um, and this is on the east grid, and this is the grid without cogen. So at this point, our electrical engineer switched the load from the east grid to the west grid and disconnected uh, from the utility on the east grid. Uh, a short time later, we lost the second feed to the east grid. Um, so these feeders started falling pretty uh, consistently. Um, we then lost uh, number one feeder at, on the west grid, uh, and we were we had to go to the management committee and request that we uh, go island, um, island mode. Uh, but between the time we did that uh, and the authorization, we actually lost that, four, uh, that second feed to that grid. The uh, utility got that feeder back on um, about two and a half minutes. It took them to do that. Uh, right after they, they did that, we were able to restart our engine. Um, and then we immediately disconnected from the utility and went island mode. So the turbine ran island mode for two and a half days, powered up the entire camp, uh, not the entire campus, but most of campus. We had to shed load uh, to do this. Um, about a day and a half later, uh, one of the feeders came back uh, from the utility, uh, but because of <coughs> reliability concerns, uh, we did not reconnect into it because we didn't want it to take us down again. So um, once we were convinced that this feeder was re reliable, we synced back to it. Um, and then about a day later, we reconfigured uh, the microgrids back to the original state. So the, the co cogen really carried us for uh, a day and a half to two and a, two and a half days. Um, and we were able to maintain key operations throughout the campus. We have a lot of research that's ongoing. A lot of uh, those uh, researchers store their stuff in refrigerated boxes and they can't lose it. Uh, we had students on uh, campus. Uh, so it was really nice to have that engine. <clears throat>